All right, guys, today we're going to hop it into a solo game. Um, it's been a request recently because I live stream myself playing solos a lot. Not so much recently, but normally I play a lot of solos. And some people in my stream are asking, like, for me to do, like, walkthroughs or really what goes inside my mind, like, when I am playing solos. And honestly, this could be duos, trios, and quads. But today we're going to try out this brand new kind of video, or maybe a new series or something like that for the YouTube channel. Um, and what goes through my head when I am playing solos. So we're just going to go into it. And I'm just going to be trying to explain things while I'm playing. And I know it might not be the best. Uh, you know, I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best. I, I don't know how well it's going to do. Um, I'm definitely stepping out of my comfort zone because I'm not used to talking so much while I play. But I'm really going to try to go crazy here. So now. In solos, cash drops go crazy. A lot of people love landing cash drops. And so I like to kind of land kind of near one um, in the in the area. See if we can find a gun here. People love landing near the cash drops. So be a lot of people here. So these red crates normally have a lot of money. I just want to make sure you grab an AR, SMG, of course. Now this truck over here was shooting people to our right. So we're gonna see. Maybe loot up a little bit, get some plates. This always can be a little crazy. Sometimes it can definitely be ratty. Sometimes it can be easy. But normally, what I try to do is just make sure you always have money for UAVs, man. Bounties, UAVs, man. It just keeps the keeps the game flowing, man, and it, it feels feels good. Makes it easy. Now I know a lot of people are normally worried about people camping. You know, like, dude, I don't like solos. It's campy. It's campy. But it really doesn't have to be that campy. I mean, you can definitely play outside of that simply because you got bounties and you have you got UAVs. Hold on, this guy's pushing me. Why oh, this bounty's pushing me? Push this guy. This guy was definitely a fucking bot. It's okay. All right, got this guy. So I knew exactly where that guy called the airstrike in because anytime an airstrike is called in. I think I might have hurt somebody else. Oh no, that's just his body. I looked at the mini map and I saw exactly where he was at. He was right outside. So if you, you know, rewind it and backtrack, you could definitely see. All right, we definitely have enough for a loadout. Up this UAV. See if I can get myself, um, you know, some time to buy this UAV, and which I do. So normally, if I have a UAV, I can definitely um, ping places where uh people are gonna be like i said guys you gotta bear with me okay this is my first time ever doing this so, guy seems to be afk but i'm gonna use definitely the most op meta that i think we've had to warzone to date by the way is the nz it's just too damn good man it's just too damn good all right so we have this guy on this ping on my orange ping if you have a uav you don't want it to expire you always want to ping people where they're at that way, you know, you can go to uh, a direction. I was having direction and having a way to go in an area, you know, to push is definitely, definitely key. So, all right. Now, there were people higher up, so I'm kind of just shoulder peeking. Make sure I'm not like overextending or over peeking too much. I want to make sure I have some sort of cover in case some guy does shoot me and I can react in time. There's get headshots. Easy kill. So in case there's a guy up here or anywhere and somebody shoots at me, I have an easy, an easy escape. You know, you always want to be kind of aware of where you're surrounding yourself simply because, you know, you do not want to uh, get caught out in the open. That's the worst, especially in solos, because people can most definitely be in some random spots. So again, we want to make sure we have direction here. So we're going to hop in this bounty. Bounty gives us cash. Cash gives us UAVs. So. Looks like that guy's in a car. In solos, I actually really like to. Right, I this is a free look for me. Solos, I really like to just buy my own loadout if I can, versus grab the natural one. In case you do die, go to Gulak, and then you have somewhere to land back. Um, you know, you have a separate loadout for a regain, which is, which is um. You know, super awesome. See, I don't even grab my, I don't even grab my perks really, man. I, I just kind of go with my original, 
my original um loadout so since there are so many perks now in the crates and stuff like that so um gonna take the balloon to the bounty just simply because the bounties are in the vehicles so i'm gonna do this most of the time you can get good shots on the on the bounties but it seems like they are driving away i think it's the car right there's a car and a van being annoying as fuck i just got to flip this vehicle so i can easily put shots in this guy break his armor and now he's kind of fucked here. I don't know where this guy went. That was a little sketch right there. That was a little sketch right there, but... Normally, I, recently I just swapped to Semtexes so I can kind of like... Block off like an angle or block off like a push. Um, especially if... You know, people are weak, they're not gonna run that way 100%, so... I did see a recon over here, so I'm gonna work this way. If you wanna get caught in the open, this push is kind of sketchy, but... Now, me personally, I always run out with my SMG. Sometimes I do get caught, you know, in the open with my SMG. But I think I'd rather... Based on what I think of, I'd rather get caught with my SMG out in a close-range fight. Normally, if it's a long-range fight, I have time to swap to an AR. So, that's kind of like my thinking. So, I did hear an enemy UAV go off. So, I'm kind of just going to chill here for a second. Figure out if I get peeked by somebody or not. I kind of want to take this balloon. The bounty seems kind of shocked. I can see people shooting over here. You see the broken NZ. Can I get that kill? That way I can third party. And it looks like this guy was looking up. So either he's on this hill. Or second story right here. And I hate pushing this building because... I can never see. I can never see these buildings, man. It's so hard. That's why I normally don't like pushing into those buildings, unless I do break plates. But right now, it's like, the guns are so OP right now, like, the NZ is so broken, man, it's so broken. So there's not a, lot, a whole lot of time people can react, you know? So, I got 9 kills right now, 48 up. Not bad start. I'm gonna take the balloon, kinda just float in the air and see if I really see anybody. Um, I could really kinda just go towards this, um, recon over here. Which is what I'm gonna do. People are shooting right here. That means there should be a couple of people here. Oh fuck! I did not mean to do that, man. I did not mean to do that. You could join probably all three of these skills here. Got this guy below me. I know I have a guy behind me still. And there's also a guy deeper behind me this way. So I'm gonna get like kind of one side to make sure I don't get shot from a, every single angle. Just kind of push out one side here. Take my time. Here's this kid. I think the other kid went into the tunnel. There's also another kid over there. So you always want to try and position yourself. When you're on like the back side or you're on the side. Or um, just a side angle. Just you don't want to put yourself in between. You know the three different places. And I get sniped. I did not see this guy. You've got to be kidding me. I just want to make sure that you put yourself behind people. That way you get shot, you know, either from a high, just one person, but you don't want to put yourself in between the three different people when you are fighting. So that's just unfortunate. That's just the way solos are sometimes. The heartbeat sensors, the snipers. Sometimes you just get caught. So, all right. So, Gulag, I really like to just take my fist out because you run faster and sprint to this thing. I have a pretty good win right here. And normally you can sound whore. So you can sound whore, I think, for the most part, better in the gulag than you can anywhere else. And so like I said earlier, we did die, unfortunately, but we do have a loadout here for our regain. <coughs> now, I, I like to just look around, make sure it's clear. I do see a kid right here, so I should be fine though. And I do hear that truck making noise. That means there's probably somebody over there upsetting that truck. That makes sense. Grab my guns, get to cover. Maybe loot up, try to find some plates. I might take the plane here. Normally I play pretty aggressive in solos and I really miss sniping while playing aggressive in solos. That's what I love the most. And I think that's why I really haven't been playing as much solos simply because they kind of nerf sniping to the ground, so. All right, so I'm trying to look for this kid that I saw earlier. Not sure where he went. I think he went inside. 
Well, that truck is getting shot at by somebody. I, I don't really understand. Sometimes it goes crazy for nothing, but... I'm gonna land on this red chest. And I do like landing areas where it's hot. It's like those hot spots, you know? Like right... Oh, shit. Where it's right here. I think dig site counts as mines a little bit. You get more cash. You get perks out of these red crates. The reach, they're like uh, Rebirth Island, you know, where they recharge up, you know, after a certain, certain amount of time, so. That way, now I have a shit ton of money. I can buy some UAVs here. But we gotta make sure the buy station is clear. It's not an orange crate over here. I really wanna get a satchel. Okay. I'm gonna pop UAV. We have enough for two, so we're gonna pop. I pop. Make sure I'm good. Buy another one. Now, there's a shit ton of people up there, so I'm going to take the balloon over. I just love playing aggressive. Now, so I don't really know if I'm going to win this match. I really sometimes play too aggressive for my own good, and I lose. But at least I'm trying to give you guys my thought process of, like, what I'm going through. So, right here, I will always like to land, like, maybe, like, right here. That way, I have a spot to head glitch. See, he's kind of open. That sucks for him. That guy, that sucks for him. So, I think there's one inside and one... Up top here. I think this guy's up top and then one's down low. Are they both down low? This guy might be below me here. Yes. So oh, this guy hurt shots. This guy might want to come out the the thing right now, so. Now I'm really tempted to challenge this, and I know I shouldn't, so I'm gonna pop my stem. Just like that, bro. Pop my sim, that way I have fast movement as soon as I get down and the guy can't track me, unless he's a cheating controller player. <laughs> so we're already at 15 kills, playing somewhat aggressive, which isn't bad at all. I'm gonna hop back down and see if this bunker is open. And it's not, so I'm gonna take this key card. Maybe I can get another Gulag token. Maybe I can get a redeploy token. That way I can keep playing the game. Even if I do die, even if I do play too aggressive for my own good. So we're getting these perks. See, so just like that, red boy. So now we can keep playing aggressive. At some point, I'm probably gonna buy another loadout. Just in case if I die. Or when I die. If I do die. Or I mean we got a gulag token right now too. So now that they changed the HUD, we have a gulag token and we have a redeploy token. I might just spend all this money on UAVs. Simply because I mean I got three UAVs worth, and I really want to get a lot of kills. So that's my kind of thought process. So I'm going to hop down here. Oh my gosh. That guy, kind of, that guy kind of choked. So anytime I try to like a fight right there. Is that the guy's body flying? It was. So anytime I fight, I always want to make sure I reposition as soon as I can. Simply because, especially in solos, dude, third partying goes crazy, man. People always third party. So... We do not want that. So as soon as you get a kill, reposition yourself ASAP Rocky. Call the UAV and see if the uh, area is clear and start moving. Now I know people do have ghosts. I know people do camp a little bit. This guy's sniping at me and I can easily wall bang through the tent with a, with a broken gun. This guy's knocked on this tent here. I saw Poor little guy. Now, I don't have any direction here. Nobody's pinging on UAV, so I want to make sure I grab a bounty. That way, I have somewhere to work towards. And now, I can play still aggressive because I do have a redeploy and a good luck token from the bunker. Now, with solos and even duo trios and quads, pretty much every game mode, um, I kind of just play aggressive. Or, if especially if I have a gulag, especially if I have a redeploy. And if you do find a yellow key card, I think it's just worth taking the two minutes, looting it up, get that extra cash, make sure you have you know, a satchel. Everything. I think it's just worth it. There's just a lot of good shit in there. And you can definitely find those extra lives, basically. So, before I hit this cord, I'm going to pop this UAV. We got two people. I think I'm going to take out the guy on the right first. Considering he is high ground. So, he is high ground. I want to kill him first, but they're about to fight, actually. How about I just fight both at the same time? So I'm weak there. I'm weak and he's still challenging because I can see him through the um I can see him through the 
combat scout. It's, it's such a broken perk. So I throw a nade that which gives me time to heal because he's pretty pretty bound to get hit by uh, that grenade, especially if he has no armor, especially if I know that he's not pushing me because of the combat scout or the combat recon, whatever the f shit's called. Combat recon? Combat scout? Whatever. Anyway, 19 kills. Now, I don't like pushing buildings like this, so hopefully I can um, push up a little bit before he even notices. I do like to sometimes just like randomly shoot. No, I do see that he is higher up. Didn't really expect to hop up on um, there, so I'm just gonna kind of send it a little bit. I'm gonna buy another UAV here. I have 22 rocks, so. Normally, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't really buy, I don't really like do the three UAVs. I don't really do the uh, uh, Blackbird or whatever that shit's called. To be because I think it's kind of a waste, you know? Because by the time I get one kill, it's gonna be gone, it, you, you know? Like, unless you're like on world record pace, I just really don't think it's worth, especially if you have people paying. It's just kind of a waste of UAV. Yeah, I guess you got a decent, you know, decent direction and where you wanna go after, but normally you already have somebody paying, so. All right, this guy's a second story. This guy's at least second story. He could be third. So I'm kinda just gonna take some rain shots. He's up top here. Take some rain shots, no need to just sprint at him. Kind of a waste, definitely a waste. You can kind of just, you know, take your rain shots and you're vibing. Make sure we have gas masks, top off the shit. Normally I forget to grab satchels and stuff, but. Have this, um, this bounty, that way you have some direction. That way you do have an advanced UAV. And I think we're just gonna stay back here and fight these guys. Now this guy could be definitely up top. So it's definitely a little bit of a sketchy fight. Um, trying to think. He probably is up top, so I might try to go on top of this roof and like shoot my SMG, and then he'll overpeak, and then I'll be able to kill him with the NZ. That's kind of like my thinking right now. Simply because the NZ kills so fast, this guy might not have a reaction time, considering that he is camping in the tower, considering that he has ATS in his username, considering that means, wait, ATS. Well, oh, I'm thinking air traffic control actually. All right. I don't know. Here, I'm gonna call this UAV in. All right, so he's ghosted up. I mean, he's gotta be up top, right? I'm trying to just see if I can like get an angle on this guy. I think he's just sitting in the room, dude. I'm kind of tempted to go up because I have a redeploy. And I have a gulag. That means the shit closes in a minute. What up? This is ballsy and I shouldn't do this. But... And that's the reason why. But I do have a redeploy. It's four circle. A loadout drops. So I might... Oh, man, a part of me wants to full send my loot again, but... Because I have 40 seconds to fuck up. Because I have a redeploy. And I have a... Or sorry, I have a gulag. What the fuck? So he's gonna have to look down. I, I, hopefully my guns went down. I hope this guy over peaks because yeah, over peak me. See, look how broken this gun is, man. Especially if you get headshots. So I'm sitting pretty now. I'm gonna drop his money. Probably buy another. L mm. We'll see the loadout spawns. I really like having my perks, especially in solos. High alert is like fucking crucial as fuck. So, might buy one. It depends on where this other one lands, but I, I'm in a pretty safe spot. On top, see where these dudes are at. I think my Leto is definitely going to spawn in a very good spot, but I am also sitting in a very good spot here. So, I might just sit up here and kind of like hold this side of the map, make sure people don't rotate. And that way, we make sure we secure this win here for this, uh, for this video for you guys. So, if you look at the mini map, Everybody on this side has to rotate basically to me. There's only a few ways to get across. So if people are over here, there's seven people left. We're just going to kind of hold it and see. Hopefully I don't get headshotted. Maybe I should go buy a self res. You know, that's kind of my thinking right now. Self res is kind of big, especially if people sniping in solos. You know, you always have those rats sniping. So if you have a lot of cash, buy, buy a self res. Maybe keep on moving. 
Kind of how like I'm going like this. Kind of, you know. I think be just always moving at at all times is very very important. Simply because, you know, uh, you die like literally instantly in this game. So I'm gonna get a self res and a UAV. I know I have a cluster, but I'm gonna pop this UAV. <sighs> See, I really want my perks, but I know like me going for that loadout is probably a very bad idea. This guy's close. This guy's near that bounty. So I could ping it, but I don't want the ping to be in the way, so. He's kind of just ratting in that building right there. But I do have two Semtexes to clear this guy out. Now in this building, there's like a little wall right here, and it's like kind of like L's this way. I'm kind of thinking of what side he's on. UAV is out of fuel. I strafe walk. I'll be quiet. You won't be able to hear me. Oh, this guy's on the roof. This guy's probably looking at me. He's on the roof. I'm gonna... It could be that um that screams skin that was on that little platform that we killed earlier. Oh, this is kind of sketch because that guy can jump up at any time and see me and he has high ground. So I pretty much own this side of the map for what I know with the information that I had from the UAV. So I'm kind of just going to chill here for now. I really want my loadout, but... Definitely sketch a little bit. That guy shoot me from the big warehouse. He's gonna have to cross here in a second. So me trying to get the skill. Probably a good idea. I think I just saw him cross right there. I might be wrong though. But he could definitely be crossing low, like down low. He could come up these stairs. So I'm gonna rotate here. See if I can catch him sprinting up. I don't see him. See, I got zone again, so I'm gonna buy another set of plates just to top off, honestly. Probably don't need it, but like, and oh no, man, right there. I don't think I have any time to play it because oh, oh, that stinks, man. I think I tried to just do what I could right there, man. I, I don't think I really had any time to play right there because he would have just kept on chasing me. Maybe I could have dropped off that lip a little bit. Damn. That's a good game, man. That's a good game right there. Anyway, I hope that helps, man. I hope I did an okay job. Again, I'm a little uncomfortable with it just simply because I've never really done something like this. So the reason why I didn't want to hop off that lip is because I thought that I was going to get shot from somebody else, especially if they were on top of that warehouse. So this guy being behind me with ghosts definitely just didn't help me at all. And so that's kind of the unfortunate situation that he was just ghosted up and I had no idea and he sucks because he just what am I watching bro and I, he probably saw me in a heartbeat sensor too and I didn't have my perks so so it's kind of like hindsight that I've dropped down maybe right there sometimes that you just got to stim up and try to break the wrinkles and kind of world star the guy and at that point if you win that fight, I probably win the game simply because I ha I'll have a really good power position. So I really think I would have won if I, I did kill that guy. But again, sometimes those are the rats that that kill you from behind um, in in solos, and that's kind of what I've done differently. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, make sure you guys go download, type them in the thing. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what I could do better on. I really would appreciate that. Let me know if you guys find this video. Um, uh, you know worth watching as well so if you guys want to help me out we're aiming at trying to hit 100 likes on this video um that would mean a lot to me um so thank you guys again hope you guys have a great rest of your day hope you guys have a great rest of your night and um i'll see you guys in the next video all right guys peace out